Stuart Hoffman. Whoa, he disappeared. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you guys, but it's been a really, really incredible few hours. Really incredible. I mean, I've been, I don't know, I've been through so much. Just sitting here learning, I've learned a lot and I've felt a lot. And, it's, you know, I think I played a few hours ago, I did some instrumental, and I know that. I couldn't do anything but the instrumental. If I would have even tried to say one word, I would have burst out crying. So here I am, three hours later, and I'm able to talk to you. I don't do good at these things. So much grief, you know, so much sadness. Because there's so much love, you know. So, I better start playing. <laughs> no, but, I, I mean, I'll I just say a few things, you know. Three days before Cynthia decided to go, I got this, what can you call, hit message. Go find that book, The Afterlife of Billy Fingers, and read it. She was still here, but it was strong, and it was like, stopped everything. Went on to, you know, went on to Google, downloaded it, and started to read it. I, you know, I knew of the book, Though over the years I've seen quotes, beautiful quotes, and that was a strong one. And, you know, then Johnny called me and told me that Cynthia's no longer here. And, I don't know, just, I just felt like, I, you know, what is the first thing you do? You post it onto, I took the first ex excerpt with a picture of her and I just put it on Facebook because I really felt like, Oh, she's just telling me. This is, it's cool. If you read that excerpt, it's just mind-boggling. Um, and I think uh, Tommy read it, that, or her, maybe her sister. Yeah, it was her sister. That beautiful first excerpt when um, he first comes back to his sister and says, hey, it's really cool here. I've been healed of everything. The first, the first nanosecond that the light was there, everything was healed. And it was just rang so beautifully true. So I thought that was pretty cool. And what can I say, you know? Cynthia was something else. And I definitely should have really done this. I mean, yeah. I'm saying it as if, you know, you get that, right? Because Cynthia, as we've all, I mean, you know, who practices for two hours? Raise your hand. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's amazing because the dedication, you know, the passion, the thirst. Oh my God, the thirst for that experience. And she would be here for, this is the kind of thing she, like a sponge, she just couldn't get enough of that experience. Some of us are here, really, really do manifest. You know, I was listening today to this beautiful teacher we have, and he was saying, you know, this is, I'll, this, I'll tell you what this existence is. You want to know what this existence is? I'm paraphrasing a little bit. <laughs> this existence is a bridge from the finite to the infinite. That's what this existence is. It's pretty incredible. And really, you know, those words, didn't fall on deaf ears when it came to Cynthia. I can say because I know, you know, you just if you knew her, you knew that boy. She she took that about as deep as anybody I ever met. So profound, so inspiring, so beautiful, and I was really surprised. In a way, I was very. I mean, you know, I would always ask Johnny, "How Cynthia?" I didn't talk to her much. I'd see her at events. And I always asked Johnny, because I knew Johnny was in such a... And I was always like, she's, she's okay, she's okay. And I would invite her to parties. She wouldn't come that often, but... I just knew that, God, this poor baby, you know, so much that she's been through. And 
Yet I was still surprised because, you know, to have that deep understanding of this existence and the possibility of, to have met Maranji and that opportunity. You know, what can you say? But I have learned so much from you guys, and I really appreciate everybody who's spoken, really. And it's given me just a, a much deeper understanding than I had when, before I came in. Okay, so um, I guess you know, 